Hello everybody, my name is Maddie, and welcome back to uh, reading the first um, Bought by One Direction fanfiction. Um, quick disclaimer before we start, please don't go and harass the original creator or send them any hate. Um, we're just here to have a fun time. And um, I do have to give a very quick trigger warning in the beginning here for the very first chapter in this video, chapter 11. Um, there will be timestamps so you can skip. Um, this is a warning for self-harm, again. Um, just wanted to pop in and let you know before we really dive into this finale here. Alright, thank you. Chapter 11. Sad man. <laughs> oh god. I looked up and saw Justin Bieber. Oh yeah, where's Selena Gomez in all this? Isn't she like our roommate? I jump out of my seat and hug hugged him. I missed you, he says. I missed you too. Can I talk to you? Justin mouths. I nod. I'll be right back, I tell Harry. Why are we all meeting in this random McDonald's? Don't you know there are rabid girls outside, Justin? You need to be careful, Jesus Christ. Me and Justin walk outside and sit at a table. So, bud, what do you want to talk about? I ask. Hey, buddy, what's, what's up? He looks at me with glassy eyes. Well, you know, well, as you know, that night when we broke up, I was drunk. Had that post on Facebook. Ruby posted that. She hacked my account. She hacked on my account. <laughs> she. <laughs> and I need your help to get her back. He was crying now. So we plan on how we get her back. Don't help him. Don't help him. Harry's POV. I was planning a vacation for the boys, me, Alexa, Justin, and Selena. We are all going to go to La Push. Oh. My. God. No. Fucking. Way. Oh my god. Are we going to Twilight Land? Actually, it's not a vacation. It's where we are going to live after we graduate. Pretend Twilight is real in this Twilight <laughs> Yes! We have a Twilight crossover with the original Sold to One Direction fanfiction. Holy shit. This is- Oh my god. Alexa and Justin run into the store and pull me out. We all grab our bikes and bike to school. We get there five minutes early. Alexa runs to her first class before I can ask her anything. Oh my god, no fucking way. This is the best thing ever. I'm having so much fun. Okay, Alexa's POV. I run to my class and grab my microphone. I run to the van, and the boys, Derek, Devin, David, and Josh, stop going in your teacher's van! We're waiting for me. We drive down to the Rogers Center. There is fans everywhere. We hop out of the van and into our dressing room, and I get dressed in two, bah, and my hair done like this. Yes, I dyed it again. Wah. I grab my guitar. I walk on stage and my guitar and microphone. Hey, guys. We're one dream, and our one dream is to rock this place, I yell. Cheers abrupt the center as we sing One More Night. We sang about seven more songs. Cody Simpson, I, Y, I, Y, I, Justin Bieber, Boyfriend, One Direction, W, M, Y, B, Survivor, I, The Tiger, Europe, The Final Countdown, Done With Dolls, Story of My Life, Silo, Operator. It was about 12 now. Thank you guys so much for coming, Devin yells. We run out. Of, of the stage and to our dressing rooms to chisang back into our clothes. We rush to our van and drive to the school. When we get there, we all rush to our second classes. After school, we drove around the city singing again. After our drive and sing, we all went home. I walked through the door when someone said, nice performance today. I look back and Lewis is standing there. What, what performance, I say. He gives me a stop playing stupid look. What's my punishment, I ask. Wait, wait, wait. What is going on? Why are they acting like they're her parents? Did they adopt her or did they purchase her? What? I, why is she not allowed to be in a band? One Direction is a band. Are you including her in your band, One Direction? Why? Isn't she 18? Isn't she's what? Okay, I'm so confused. You have to be my servant for a week, he says. I nod and walk up to my room. I look at my calendar and see that prom's in a week. I run to Lewis' room and he is watching Scream. I walk up behind him and go, boo. 
He screams like a little girl and hides under the covers. Lewis, I say. I hear him crying. <laughs> Great. I'm so guilty now. I'm sorry, Lewis. Oh my god, we made him cry. <laughs> he peeks from the covers and gives me a death glare. I came to ask you something, I say, smiling innocently. What? He says coldly. Is it okay if I go to prom in a week? I say, almost crying. Whatever, he says, pushing me out of his room. I walk to my room and lock the door. I slide down in crying. Lewis hates me now. I walk to my washroom and cut again. Oh my god, it feels so good. Girl, what the hell? I wipe the blood away and take a shower. After that, I change into this. I lay down in my bed, still crying. Finally, I cried myself to sleep. There is so much going on. We are just a big cocktail of emotion today, huh? Chapter 12. Prom. Prom time. I walk in with my date, Harry. Me. Um. All walk in with our dates. I think there's a lot of images missing here. Um, so just use your imagination. Use your imagination. Create the most beautiful prom dress in your mind. Everyone is staring at me. Probably because I walked in with Harry Styles. Did your parents ever L you it's rude to stare? I say. Everyone burst out laughing. I mentally roll my eyes. I walk up to the DJ and request my favorite song. Video unavailable. This video is private. <laughs> me and the girls. Who are the girls? We don't... I thought... Okay. I thought we didn't have, like, friends. I thought we didn't have friends. I'm, I'm confused. Me and the girls walked to the middle of the floor and started dancing to the song. After that, a slow song came on. I felt someone tap my shoulder. I turned around and Harry was standing there. Yes, of course, I say, before he could say anything. He takes my hand and we start dancing to Good to You by Marie Mariana's Trench feet Jessica Lee. Funny thing, there was no one else on the floor but me and Harry, Danny and Liam, Eleanor and Louis, Perry and Zane, Demi and Niall. We danced everywhere on the floor at home. When I walked in the door, Harry said he had an announcement. He stands up on the table and says, Chapter 13, La Push. Oh my god, it's, <laughs> oh my god. I wonder if we're on Team Edward or Team Jacob in this world. Who's going to be fighting over us with, with Harry? Oh my god. Everyone, we are moving. I stare at him in shock. You'll love it when you see where, he mouths. Why is everybody mouthing these coherent sentences and how is she picking up on them? So everyone get packing, he yells. I run up to my room and pack. I lay down on my bed and slowly drift to sleep. I wake up to everyone bouncing on my bed. Go away, I yell. We need to leave, Louis yells. <laughs> Calm down, dude. I jump up and run to the van. We packed out bags and a different van, and Paul is driving that one. Uh, by the way, I googled Paul of One Direction because I was like, is Paul pretend? Um, he's like the bodyguard dude, I think. He's like a bodyguard person. So he is not the lost sixth member of One Direction. I'm, I'm sorry. I fell asleep within three minutes into the drive. I was awoke with a nice smell. I sit up and find McDonald's on my lap. She eats a lot of McDonald's. I eat all of my food, then fall asleep again. I felt myself being lifted. I opened my eyes and Harry was carrying me. Sorry, love. Did I wake you? He says. I nod, but say it's fine. I like waking up to me in your arms. I say, nuzzling my head in his neck. He chuckles and carries my into the house. Once he puts me down... There's a period, not a comma. I look around my new house. Ari looks at my reaction and starts laughing. He leads me down to the basement. Oh my god, why? First thing I saw was this. Oh god, what is it? Half of the basement is yours, he whispers in my ear. I turn around and hug him so tight. I love you, I say, kissing him. He gifted you half a basement and he's earned your love. <laughs> Girl! 
You need higher standards, I think. Also, he purchased you. He purchased you and then gave you half a basement? Okay, whatever. He smiles into the kiss and says, I love you too. He leads me to my bedroom. Thank you so much. And where is your bedroom? I ask. He walked me down the other half of the basement to his room. Then to his... What? I'm... I'm... I'm so confused. Oh, I skipped. I gasp and hug him. I love this house, I say. You're living in a half and half basement. It's looking like, you know, the bedroom from Sam and Cat down there. You haven't seen it all yet, he chuckles. He pulls me to my bathroom, then to his. You have separate bathrooms and everything. I get tired of walking, so he gives me a piggyback ride. He takes me to the living room, then the kitchen, pool, backyard. I want you to meet a few people, he says. We walk down to the local park and see a few people playing soccer. As we walk a little closer, I almost faint. Hey, Jacob, Harry yells, there it is. Oh my God. The author is a Jacob girl. Oh my God. Jacob looks at us and waves. Hi, Jacob. Hi. Long time no see, dude. Oh my God. Harry pulls me over and I'm hardly breathing. Fan? Jacob asks Harry. He nods and chuckles. I shake out of my trance and introduce myself. Nice to meet you. I'm Alexis, but call me Alex, Alexa, Lex, or Lexi, I say. Nice to meet you, Lex. I'm Jacob Black. So why is he famous? Did Twilight, like, the movies happen? And they're the actors playing in their own story? I, is he just a... I don't know. I don't know, he says, shaking my hand. So I see you moved here, Jacob say. I nod. Well, you're a lucky lady because we're your neighbors, Seth says. Oh, hi, Seth. I jump up and down and finally lay on the ground. <laughs> I can see we can be best friends, Jacob says. I do a happy little dance while laying on the ground. Hey, I know a club here. Anyone up for it? Seth says. Isn't he like 14? I don't, I don't really remember. He was younger though, wasn't he? Why is he going to the, he should not be at the club. As long as I'm with my best friend, then yes, I say, linking arms with Jacob. Oh, and my wonderful boyfriend, I say, kissing Harry's cheek. Wait, wait, wait. Did Selena Gomez move in with us? Did she move to La Push with us? Or did we just, like, ditch her? I am I know I'm still caught up in Selena Gomez. I thought we were supposed to help Justin and Selena get back together. I'm so confused. All right, we, we've abandoned that plot point. Forget Selena. Put her out of your mind. Okay, meet us here at seven, Quill says. I nod and run back home. I run in the house like a madman and start singing Walking on the Sunshine. Why are you so happy? Lewis asks from behind me. I jump and fall on my butt. No reason, I say, whistling mysteriously. I love to mysteriously whistle. Just kidding. I, I can't. I don't know how. I run down to my room and get dressed in this and my makeup, my heels, and with that I'm done. I walk downstairs and it's 5.56. Any occasion? Eleanor asks. Who? Who's Eleanor? I'm picturing the mom from Brave. Yes, actually, I'm going to a club with some people, I say. The girls start bouncing, saying, can we come? I finally give in and say yes. Around 6.30, everyone came downstairs. Eleanor is wearing something and Perry is wearing something at the club. We all walked in the club and a lot of people were drunk. Hey, Jacob, how old do you have to be to drink? I yell over the music. Seventeen, he yells back. I made a shocked face and he just laughed. I don't think that's correct. Five hours later. And then the author apologizes for the time skips. That's not what... Okay. Um, me and the pack were looking for everyone. I told the pack I'd be right back. I walked up the stairs and into the washroom. I saw Harry and my worst enemy, Samantha, mocking out. Making out. You jerk. It's over, I yell. Harry looks up and stares at me in shock. Alexa, I'm sorry. I cut him off. Too late, I yell. Oh my god, we just got cheated on. Who? Who is Samantha? Our enemy. When did she come in? I thought we hated that other lady. The Una? I assume that's a lady? I don't know. 
I run downstairs into my house. I run to my room and lock the door. You live with him. I cried my eyes out and threw my real phone across the room and it smashed into millions of pieces. I'm a monster, I say to myself. Why? I slide down my wall, still crying. My iPhone starts ringing. It's in a million pieces. I check the caller ID. Him. I reject and jump on my bed, cry myself to sleep. Who the fuck is Samantha? Okay, so this is turning it. Remember, One Direction has purchased her. They own her. Like, legally. She can't leave. What are we gonna do when we inevitably fall in love with Jacob? I... Ay, ay, ay. I woke up to a knock on my door. I opened the door a little bit and Lewis is standing there with waffles, chocolate milk, and fruit. That sounds nice, actually. I, I want... I want somebody bring, to bring me that. Thanks, Lewis, I say. No problem, baby girl, he says, hugging me. Why is he acting... Why is Lewis our father figure? I... I hear what happened, he says. Yeah, and it was with my worst enemy, too, I say, crying into his shoulder. Well, I was wondering if you want to go to the beach with me, Eleanor, and the pack, he asked. I nodded rapidly and grabbed my bikini and ran to the beach. I ran up to a cliff and I feel my heart beating rapidly. I start taking bug breaths and lay down. Hey, Lex, I hear Jacob say. Hey, Jacob, I say. What are you doing? He asks. I'm waiting for Lewis, I say. He nods and lays down beside me. So I heard what happened, he say. I nod and hold back the tears. Jacob POV. I can't believe Harry cheated on a beautiful girl. Alexis. I don't think Harry deserves you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I say, side hugging her. She says nothing. There, there you guys are, Lewis and the pack say. She giggles and butterflies erupt my stomach. That sounds painful, Jakey boy. You can say I have a crush on her, but I imprint on her. Hey, Lex, want to jump in together? I ask. She nods and stands up. If Listen, if Harry turns into a vampire in this fucking fic, I'm going to lose my mind, okay? I'm going to lose my mind. She nods and stands up. I stand up and hold her hand. Electricity runs through my hand. He's getting killed to death like Uncle Fester in the second Adams Family movie. One, two... Three, we yell, ask, we jump in. As we hit the water, our hands let go of each other's. I instantly frown. We swim up to the surface and she's breathing heavily. I hope the octopus doesn't come back. Actually, no, I do hope that happens. I want to see him get attacked by an octopus. Hey, want to go to my house? Just you, me, and the pack, I say, my voice full of hope. She nods and giggles at my hope. Is he going to purchase her? Is he going to Is he gonna buy her? At Jacob's place. Alex's POV. When we got to Jacob's place, me and Jach, Jacob. Jake? Jacob. We're playing frisbee, since he is a werewolf. <laughs> Every time he catched it, I laughed for no reason. Jacob, you're so cute, I say, poking his nose. Thanks, he says. Suddenly, something rattles the bush. The bush? We look over and it's Harry. Jacob runs at him. Jacob, no, I yell. I run in between them and Jacob accidentally scratches my arm. Then I remember, if a werewolf scratches you, then you turn into a werewolf. I gasp. Within 24 hours, I turn into a werewolf. I fall down crying. Lexi, Harry and Jacob yell. I'm gonna become a werewolf, I say. Harry looks at Jacob like he's gonna kill him. Stop, Harry, I say. He looks at me like I'm crazy. I think we are a little crazy. Why do you want to become a werewolf? He questions. Because I think werewolves are cool, I say. <laughs> oh, God. Harry rolls his eyes and walks back home. Listen, Lexi, I didn't mean to scratch you, he says. It's fine, Jacob. I've been dreaming my whole life to become a werewolf. I wish to become a beautiful white one, I say dreamily. Jacob chuckles and hugs me. I can't get the feeling out of my head. I think I like him. Girl, where is where are we going? Where are we going? We are just switching tracks. I really, I actually really love that instead of like just leaving this off, 
and going and starting a Twilight fanfiction, the author just started to, like, merge the timelines. I am absolutely delighted. Okay, I'm so sorry. Twelve hours later, I fall asleep to rain hitting the window. In the middle of the night, I feel pain. Suddenly, the pain stops, and I pass out again. Okay. I open my eyes, and light shines through my blinds. I check my clock, and it's 12 p.m. I walk to my mirror, and it looks like nothing has changed. I shrug it off and change into this. I walk down to Jacob's, and I see Seth and Quill fooling around in the backyard. I walk over to them and side-hug them. Hey, boys, I say. Lexi! They yell and hug me. I laugh, and Jacob comes out. All good for him. Hey, Lex, he says, hugging me. Hey, Jacob, I say, hugging back. So let me see how nice you look as a werewolf, Seth Seth says. That's kind of hard for me to say. I quickly turn into a werewolf and they all gasp. Why does she just know how to do that? Okay, whatever. Whatever. I can't. I can't. How do I look? I say, turning back. Like a butte, Quill says. Can I see a mirror? I ask. Wait, are we human or are we a werewolf or are we a talking werewolf? All right. Seth pulls me inside his room and lets me look at myself. I change into a werewolf and I look like this. I look beautiful. I turn back to a human. Jacob, I'll be right back. I need to go home for a second, I say, kissing his cheek and running out the door. Where did we come from? Where did we sleep? What's going on? I say, kissing his cheek and running out the door. I bust in the door and everyone looks at me. Guys, I need to show you something, I say, bringing them to he back yard. I turn into my werewolf and they all gasp. Niles POV. I can't believe it. My best friend is a wolf. I run to my room and cry. (laughs) She didn't tell me anything about it. Niall, listen, please, Alexa says, crying from the other side of my bedroom door. Tell me through the door, I say. I turned into a werewolf at midnight last night. I'm sorry I didn't tell you, she says, walking away. Now I just feel guilty. Ah, well, shit. We just feel guilty. Alex is POV. I walk back down to Jacob's place and walk right into Paul. I forgot who the fuck Paul was. Again. He sees me crying and pulls me into a hug. What's wrong, baby girl? He asks. Why is everybody calling her baby girl? Uh, I told the people that I live with that I became a werewolf and now they won't talk to me, I say, crying more. Okay, I'm going to go talk to Billy about something, he says, hugging me again, then leaving. That's not very helpful, Paul. And didn't Paul buy us to begin with so he should have the ownership over us? I don't know. It starts raining and I have an idea. I start dancing in the rain for a few minutes. Is that our idea? How's that going to fix anything? What's broken? Then I walk up to the door and knock. Jacob opens the door and pulls me in. What are you doing? He asks me. I was dancing in the rain for a few minutes, and then I came here, I say. He shakes his head and gets me some new clothes, a blanket, and makes me a hot chocolate. That sounds nice. Thanks, Jacob. I'll be right back. I I take the clothes and change into hoodie, shirt, and a pair of Leah's PJ pants. After I got changed, we watched a movie. Ladder 49. Within five minutes, Jacob passed out. I finished watching the movie, and then I watched it again. Then I finally fell asleep. Harry's POV. I'm so worried. Alex hasn't returned, and at 3 a.m. Guys, has Alex returned yet? I ask. They shake their heads. She's probably at Jacob's, Eleanor says. I cringe at his name. Someone's jealous, Lewis says. Am not, I say. Everyone burst out laughing. They don't know how much she meant to me. She didn't mean that much, dude. You've cheated on us. I've had it with you. I walk down to my room and lock it. I slide down the door and start crying again. It's all Samantha's fault. She is the one who started kissing me. I didn't kiss her. First Una, now Samantha. Who are these people? I know she is never going to take me back now. Everyone knocks on my door, but I don't let them in. I finally snap. I open the door. 
Leave me alone, I yelled and slammed the door. I'm a monster, I say. Chapter 14. Happy Birthday. I hear my phone ring and I immediately sit up. I press answer without checking the ID, but I totally regretted it when I hear the voice. Him. Alexa, we need you now. It's really important. What's going on? Lewis, Zane, and Niall got hurt. They were drunk and got in a car crash. Meet us at the hospital now. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I hung up and ran out the door with no coat. I ran into someone. I kept on running and got to the hospital. I run up to the desk lady. The desk lady. Give her a little more respect. Lewis Tomlinson. I'm sorry, I don't know their last names. This is the first I'm hearing them. Zane Malik and Niall Horan, I say. Room 10293, she says. I nod and I run to the room. I pop my head. Ouch. And everyone except Harry is asleep. Hi. Hi, Alexa, he says. I walk over to Lewis and see he's awake. Alexa, is that you or an angel? He asks. I chuckle and kiss him on the cheek. My head hurts and my wrist, leg, and ankle, he says. Alexa, the accent I loved, said. Niall, I say. I walk over to him and I had tears in my eyes. Are you okay? I ask. He nods. I smile and here is a really long beep. I turn around and Zane's heart monitor is going off. <laughs> no! He's... He's flatlining! <laughs> oh my god. Everybody stand back, I yell. I go over to Zane, do CPR, mouth to mouth, and he was awake now. Zane, I cry. I hug him and cry. Alexa, I thought you never wanted to see us again, he said. No, I say. Six months later? Why is there a time skip? When did she- I- Okay. I thought they hated her because she's a werewolf now, but whatever. Okay, six months later. Happy birthday, baby girl, Lewis yells. Thanks, Lewis, I say. Why is he calling her baby girl? Why is he our father figure? I shove everyone out of- out of my room and get dressed in this. Wah. Eclipse or- Oh my god, I'm not gonna say that and I'm gonna censor it out. As we call him and Bandit joined me downstairs. Author's note, Eclipse, that word again, and Bandit are actually my aunt's cats. Well, your aunt needs to rename her former cat. This is like the spiritual successor in a way to H.P. Lovecraft. Stop that right now. I see Zane passed out on the couch. I chuckle and walk over to him. I sit on his butt and he groans. Haha, ha. I sleep with him until... Chapter 15. Dead. When we hear a knock on the door, Zane gets up and answers the door. Zany. Hey, baby, a girl says. I walk over to the door and see Zane and Perry and Zane kissing. There are two Zanes involved. I gasp and run up the stairs and into my room. I shut- I run in, shut the door, lock it, and cry. Why are we crying? We don't have a crush on Zane, do we? What? What? What's going on? We sat on his butt? I don't understand. I pack my bags and crawl out the window. I We're upstairs. All right, so we jump out the second floor window. I walk until I find a big house. I knock on the door and see a very lovely woman crying. She nods for me to come in. I walk inside and see a girl lying on the bed. What? kind of setup is this in this big house? It looked like my mom. I walk over to her and see it is my mom. <laughs> What's wrong with her, I ask. She's gone, she says. Oh, now I see that's my grandma and my mother is dead. What the fuck is going on? We just found a random grandmother's house? Our grandmother? Why was our- where's our mom been? Well, I guess she's been dead. While we've been getting sold to One Direction, but we've lived with them for, like, a while now. I shake my head in pain. Heartbreak. Mom, I say. I lay down with her and cry. I run out of the house and paparazzi took a picture of me. I run back to Jacob's house and knocked on his door. He opens up and hugs me. What's wrong, he says. Can I come in, I ask. He nods and I sit down on the couch. Okay, first Perry came over and 
kiss Zane. Second, my mom died, I say. I noticed two marks on her neck that looked like teeth. Vampires. I'm gonna kill them, I yell. Who? Jacob yells. The vampires. They killed my mother. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I yelled. I ran outside and transformed into my wolf formation and ran to where the vampires live. But I was tackled down to the ground. I opened my eyes and Jacob is on top of me growling. We are both in human form now and circling each other. Touch any of them, you die, he says. They killed my mother, I say. Poor Muffin, he says. What the hell? I run over to him and start punching him. We fight for a long time until Sam and Paul pulled us apart. Who the fuck are Sam? <laughs> We're Sam and Paul! What's wrong with you? They yell. The vampires killed my mom. And Jacob said, poor Muffin. <laughs> what if it was your mom or dad, huh? I yelled suddenly. Everything went black. And unfortunately, that is the end. I, I don't, I don't know what to say. That is the final update from the author. Um, I'm not sure when this specific chapter was posted. Um, that our mom has been murdered by a vampire. We live in La Push now. And we fought, we fist fought Jacob uh, from Twilight. We've broken up with Harry. We had a very short-lived crush on Zane, which was broken or ruined when his... I presume girlfriend walked in and kissed him as you do? I don't know. I don't know. Elisha, please. Please come back. <laughs> please come back. Please come back and give us chapter 16. I'm I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Um yeah, this has been uh YN Adventures. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Uh this was an experience. I'm gl I'm glad I read this. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. If you have another story that you would like for me to narrate or read out or react to, leave it in a comment down below. And let me know. Um, and let me know what you think of this story. <laughs> Did you like it? Did you have fun? What do you, what do you think was supposed to happen next? Um, that's all I have for today. Take care, everybody. See you next time.